Okay, this is what I learned about the formatic system today for Mercedes-Benz. The first thing I want to point out while the transmission is in this state of disassembly is I walked over here to exercise my own personal curiosity and I'm amazed at how smooth this massive piece of metal is able to roll on its bearings. It takes very, very little effort to move this, and it's extremely well balanced, really smooth. So what happened with this system here is, if you look here, we've got an extremely pitted roller on this bearing assembly. That one there, that one there. So something happened where the bearings got pitted. Here's the bearing race. It seems to be pretty tough and held up, but there is obvious signs of uh, the damage done. So the bearing assembly with the race will need to be replaced on this assembly. Inside this transmission somewhere, I'm not sure where the other bearing is, here is one of the bearing uh, rollers and this one is extremely pitted on this end. I'm not sure which bearing it came from. Obviously it didn't come from this one because they're all intact, but it came from another one. So this is the transmission that is used across a lot of different Mercedes models uh, from C-Class all the way up to S-Class. It's all identical from what I've been told. This formatic is actually belongs to a C300 model car. It was purchased at auction. The boss bought it at auction because he did his own inspection and he saw this uh, drive shaft from the go into the transfer case. It was new, well, newer than the other parts underneath the car. Obviously, clean stickers, stuff like that. And uh, he decided to buy the car based upon a hunch that somebody was working on it, didn't get all the way to the end of uh, fixing the problems, whatever they were experiencing, it, so they decided to dump the car. And we discovered that's exactly what happened. We went out for a test drive in the car after he brought it back from auction. And what we uh, heard inside the vehicle is, uh, I could best describe it as kind of a swimming noise. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. There's a whooshing, there's a swimming noise that's there. We put the car up on the rack and we found that uh, along the way that somebody has gone through the effort to replace the brake pads and rotors all the way around the vehicle with genuine Mercedes parts too. So they've been throwing some money at this problem trying to get that noise to go away. And obviously it didn't go away for them. So, boss made a, a good call on this one. The bearing, we're going to price this out tomorrow uh, through our sources to find out, uh, you know, the price and availability on the bearing. It's going to need a special tool, a bearing puller, to remove it from this shaft right here and to install it. And we will reassemble uh, after we clean it up and everything, and everything should work fine. Um, the car is in pretty decent condition. Let me go ahead and point you over that way. There's the car it came from. Not a bad looking car. All black and got lots of new parts in there as a result of somebody doing this. So uh, it's nice whenever we can pick something up like this uh, at auction where somebody else has thrown that much money into it not being able to fix the problem.